just wait we're for live. Few, we're live, Lee. Yeah. We're live. And we're we just wait for a few people come on, mate. Um, it's a bit um, cold today, Lee, isn't it? It's freezing. Come on, guys, where are you? We've got Lee Little yeah. We're waiting. Anyone there, please? Can you hear us? He's doing it on Facebook as well. Yeah. I think Emma's going to do that when she can see. Yeah. No, she wants to do us today. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Sat here for about half an hour. Yeah. Come on. Hello, mate. You all right, geezer? There's one that's 10 on straight away. <laughs> <laughs> 10 or 12. Come on, straight guys. Straight away, right. We've got Lee on here today. Oh, we we'll won't speak yet. We're just having a bit of banter between us. Rub rubbish the weather today, guys. Um, best place to be is indoors, isn't it, I think? I do apologise, but I cannot see. I haven't got my glasses, so I can't see that. Yeah, I can see. Mr. B Banger, how you right from Whitby? You okay, Mr. B Banger? B4 Banger. Uh, Glenn Cop, hello, Glenn. Um, Stephen, Happy hello, Saturday. hello. Geezer, uh, looking well, lads. Yeah, I am. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, can yeah. you get it? So it's like, yeah, that's, that's, that's better. Right, it? guys, welcome to the Tatwen Show. We've got one of my best friends I've had in life, never had an argument, known him for over 40 years. The great Lee Little from Red Car. Met him years ago, we mixed off, been friends ever since. Yeah, Lee, sure. um, he was Mr. Britain. He won the overall. 2013. Mr. 2013. He won the overall, Mr. Britain. He's competed in several shows, strongman events. Super, super guy. He knows his stuff. We're going to talk about training and uh, bodybuilding and bits of life today, mate. So, yeah. what, what do you think about um, any advice for anyone when they're going to start training? What's the best thing? Well, and he is a, he's a coach as well, professional coach. Advice on basically starting the train is: Are we going on about diet? Or are we going on about just uh, basically getting performing the, and anti just, drugs, etc.? No, no, nothing to do with nothing drugs. To just, do, just, yeah. just, just, just for people out there, out the set of and think you get these people. They go, "I'm going to start to Christmas. I'm going to start yeah. and start today or tomorrow." But first of all, go and get advice off your doctor just in case there's anything wrong with you. Yeah. And train what Lee will tell you because he's he a good professional coach. The thing is with, obviously, YouTube and things like that is there's too many people out there um, giving too much information. Mm -hmm. It's confusing things. And I think we spoke about this last time in a podcast where yeah. lots of people are looking on social media and that's setting sort of a, instead of, as I explained in the last one, yeah. where we're looking at Teesside, we're now looking at every single country yeah. in the world. Yeah. So you're talking the elite of the elite yeah. of like every country. So yeah. that's, instead of looking in the Northeast, now we're looking everywhere. And people are looking and going, I want to look like that. Two seconds, you've just got a phone call here. Yeah, it's gone. Sorry. It's gone right. <laughs> right. So, um, yeah. So basically, um, people get so they're looking at social media, and obviously, when people hit the thirties, as you stipulated there, they start to think, "Oh God, uh, you know, I don't want to go in the gym." They get anxiety. They're looking at themselves too much. Everybody, I think, including yourself as well, including myself. You're never happy with your body. Never no. happy with your body. But the thing is, is it doesn't come externally, it's internally. Yeah. As as you will agree. Yeah. So regarding um getting yourself motivated, as I say, you can it comes from within, not looking on outside sources. I mean, you you can get help obviously by looking on YouTube and looking at things, but when you sort of boil it down. To lose weight or to look good, one, it's calorie deficit, which is plain and simple. Yeah. Eating at the right times. I don't agree with diet plans. No, I don't. I don't. No. I agree with eating correctly. Yeah, right times. Yeah, yeah, at the right times and still having two, three cheat meals yeah. a week. And then obviously the next step is going into the gym and actually training. Um I can actually. Are we getting? Can no, I ask? Afternoon, folks. Just sit down. Can I ask? Don Mingo, Tony Bell, top, top boys. Uh, can't be asked. Uh, can't <laughs> ask the best supplements for. No, can I? Can I ask what is the best supplements for bodybuilding? Well, protein, creatine, glutamine, vitamin amino C, acids, vitamin, amino acids, vitamin yeah, D, yeah. All the all the basic things. The you thing. Don't... The thing is, you can take a lot of supplements. What it's to do with is eating. Yeah, eating correctly. Um, somebody once said to Rich Piana, God bless him, he said, uh, if, if it was to take 
the greatest supplement of protein are eggs, and they take the eggs because you know the proper food. Exactly. You don't know what's in yeah, these yeah, packaged yeah, things. Yeah. It says on what yeah. it says on the label is not always true. If you are eating everything correctly, you don't need to, people. No, the don't thing is, no. you will see. This is where I'm going on about social media again, right? You will see a perfectly athletic woman or guy stood there with a, you know, I don't know, they're going like that. They're going, look, I've got this. This is what makes me like this. It isn't. It's dedication. It's obviously eating correctly. So taking supplements and wasting your money as well. Yeah, you do. On it. You, you could buy, like you're going to Holland and Barrett's. I don't know whether I can say that or not. Of course you can, yeah. Um, Pay £120 for a tub of protein. Yeah, a tub of protein <laughs> or aminos. Amino acid is very good for you. Yeah, um, good, yeah. Amino um, uh, powder. Yeah. Um, I rate that better than the... Bra bra yeah, protein. branched chain amino acids is brilliant. I rate that better Zero calories. I do think as well, easy yeah. to digest. Yeah. yeah, yeah, zero calories. It's easy to digest and it's got all the essential aminos it's in for your growth. You don't have to mess about mixing it. It's just capsules. Yeah, oh, well, the powder, yeah, you yeah. just mix it with a drink yeah. and drink it. So just on some of these, Tony yeah, Stoke, and Bear, Big Love, thanks very much, Tony. Um, Scott, um, I accept the fact I'm chunky, I'm blah, blah, blah. Um, Tony Snooks, Jim Broth, 32 years, young, on course of Baldwin on and Winstrup. <laughs> oh, yeah, Baldwin on <laughs> and Winstrup, yeah, but we can't speak about it. So, uh, how do you manage Sorry going out that. be... Wearing at the weekend, low carbon, oh, high yeah. protein. Yeah, do you want me to answer the low carbon, high protein? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay. So, on the low carbon, high protein, you're talking like on the basis of an Atkinson diet. Now, the thing with an Atkinson diet is with carbohydrates, you eat too much carbohydrates, and basically, you will store it as fat. You eat too much protein, and you will end up going to the toilet about 10 times yeah, yeah, yeah. for a number two, basically, yeah. because that's how you waste your protein. So if you overdose on protein, you're literally going to do that. Obviously, if you eat too much carbs, that's going to get stored, uh, basically, and you're going to put it on as fat. So when you're looking at a low, it, it all depends as well how you train. So when you're going on about, say, the Atkinson diet, it's very dangerous. It works because obviously you're not taking any carbs in, but you're depleting your body of everything. And you can only last so long yeah. without carbs, and then your kidneys start to really go in there. You'll start feeling fatigued because you've got no carbohydrates for energy. The protein literally will stop absorbing because you you need your carbohydrates. So yeah. don't, don't look at the, I mean, the Atkinson diet works in one way, but as soon as you come off it, then literally you yeah. start putting the weight back on. Well, it's another my mad thing what people do. They, they go they go to the gym and they train 15 minutes think, right, I can eat where I want now because I'm training. <laughs> <laughs> so I go home and have a fish and chips <laughs> three times in one night and think, well, I've been to the gym, I can eat where I want now. Yeah. It doesn't work like that. You yeah. It's like a horse and carriage. It's come, it has to come. You've got to have one carb on one or the other. Peter Scouse, hello there, big big fella. Uh, he's saying, um, Pro from, from the scouts yeah. we'll love all the scouts. Uh, is that peptides? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah that's a good uh, peptides. Oh. Is very uh, very good for you. Different types of peptides. Yeah, uh, you can take very very beneficial. And by so, the way, peptides are steroids, just to let you know. Yeah. Sure, statistically, they're brilliant. Um, I know a gentleman that actually sells them. Yeah, he's do, yeah, very, yeah. very informative with the peptides. I actually took two different types of peptides, and I felt a lot. I mean, I don't need it anyway because I train a lot yeah. in as motivational-wise, but it gives you a boost. Yeah. It really does work, depending on and what no peptides you take. On them uh, oh, what, so what about, are you talking natural testosterone pills? Yeah, um, again... There is so many products out there um, that are promising to do this. You see one picture of one person, another picture of another. Yeah. When it comes to different testosterone pills, there's that many. It's like protein powders. People go, what's the best protein powder? Well, I'll, I'll say one fact about protein powders. In the UK, there is no regulations on what is in a protein powder in the usa there is yeah. but there's no literal federation well, otherwise they can fill it up with uh, molten dextrose which yeah. is sugar yeah and have a tiny mm -hmm. bit of protein so you pin 100 pound for a tub of sugar well me and you could say uh, yeah. lee and brian's protein powder we could literally get the labels pr uh, uh, printed we could put say um, 10 grams of protein in it. ice cream powder in it yeah. with not even yeah. we didn't yeah. don't even have to do that uh, yeah because there is no regulations on it yeah. if you look and you google protein powders you will get hundreds yeah. but again like you said earlier on if you have a good substantial diet yeah you'll get your protein into it 
Eggs, because a eggs, lot eggs in milk are a, better. They've a lot got, of them, they've got the amino, amino acids. What you need in the I, essential ones. I will say the best sort of when somebody does ask that question, the best protein powders you can get are isolated. What yeah. isolate proteins yeah. because like they're low in carbs. Yeah. yeah, they're low in carbs and literally they are good protein sources. They taste they taste like rubbish. If you noticed, everyone will know this anyway, and you'll know this. Yeah. Everything that tastes awful it's good for you. is good for you. The more awful, take medicine. <laughs> if it tastes hey, lovely, if it tastes brilliant, it's rubbish. I won't stuff. mention a certain brand, but there's a certain brand that's out there, very popular. It tastes gorgeous, but you look at the ingredients and it's got too much sugar in it. Yeah. Sugar, fructose, sucrose. Yeah. They're all forms all, of sugar. All forms of sugar, yeah. But people get this thing. These Would you recommend a protein shake instead of breakfast? No. 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 You've got uh, the first A lot of people do because it's fast and easy. It's straight out. But I, yeah. what I usually have no. body oats in the morning, yeah. a couple of eggs, three eggs, yeah. one slice of toast, and my coffee. Perfect breakfast. Ration of bacon. You know, even a, tea, yeah. a couple of slices of bacon. Yeah. Something that I'm done. Try two, three times a week. I'll try and break a, break a grilled breakfast. So, but as long as the main thing is that the biggest meal to eat the day is, is breakfast because you haven't eaten no, nothing all night. So then it's in the morning you need to eat. That's and then that, then you've got energy all day to. to what, what's body. what's that off, Adam? I can't. Sorry, Adam. I do apologise. I haven't got many classes on. Uh, your thoughts on the natural supplement, Turkish, Tustin, Turkish Tustin. Yeah, another Never one. Yeah, yeah. Never heard of it. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, again, the thing is, is. I'm not going to go deep into it again because no. there's a again people are trying to make money out of just an average Joe blog. Well, no, I, I, sorry, I do apologise. I won't say an average Joe blog. People who are not clued up on actual things that are coming out like that, new titles, new you know, a new advert or whatever. Um, it's just a way of selling another product. Um, again, it's it's down to the same same issue. Um, you can try them, but what you've got to look at is the placebo effect as well. When when yeah. you think, oh God, I've just it's like pre workout. Don't get me wrong, pre workout works because of the ingredients, high caffeine, the uh, the beta in it, etc. Yeah. You get a flush face. But if you eat a, a good uh, workout meal beforehand, then you should have the energy yeah. and you should have the motivation. Listen to a good YouTube motivational. Yeah, like me. Yeah. <laughs> well, what you've got to do, and all the other things people do, go the eat the food and then train. You can't do that because the blood goes to your stomach, yeah. you digest. Yeah, you've got so you know, right. you need to eat it about an hour and a half before training. I might be half in a banana or a banana. Somebody said, what do you, what do, you do? Do that for a banana. <laughs> well, I'm that on the next day. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, but it's, it's true. If you need to, as soon as you finish training, you need to have protein straight away, straight in the body, and you need to have sugars in the body, which is like a banana or a fresh orange juice, to put the glycogen back in your liver because the glycogen is like a battery. Yeah. And it, once that's gone, you need to put in with these smoothies, all they're full of is sugar. There's more sugar in a smoothie than there is in a cup. So you just drink them smoothies. And you, they're all right if you train, you can burn them off. But if you're just sitting about like the kids, you see you're all overweight. It's because of these smoothies. Sorry, Brian, what's that yeah. there? The, uh, uh, I can't be asked strictly because I'm 30. It's a tricky one for me because. In, Oh, so I about... can't be protein shake eggs. I can't eat. eat, eat I think it's so you can't. Well, like yeah, IBS, so yeah, so you gluten, yeah. gluten. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, there's, there's, a, there is. You don't need dairy products, etc. You don't no. need eggs, stuff like that. There's a you can't get gluten free stuff. Oh, like a lot of gluten free yeah. things, but you can get a lot of source of protein without eating any dairy products. Yeah, milk it really isn't digestible source of. Uh, no, not for humans. No, it, it never was been. No. So the, there is other sources of uh, protein there. So that's uh, I am just limited to. Uh, oh, so yeah, so you, so basically, again, the testosterone pills, again. I, I, personally, I've tried them. It, they didn't work for me um, because, again, I have uh, sort of irritable bowel syndrome uh, uh, where I have to be careful what I'm eating. Yeah. So I can't eat eggs, milk. I, I'll have sort of oats and water, but I'll make my protein through chicken, etc. So Yeah, Tony Snooks in his um, old-school cardio diet, I think that, that's what I have. I have 25 grams of protein, 25% of protein, Five percent of fats and seven there, seventy percent of um of um protein because I think obviously you need more protein. If you've got more meat on the plate than carbs, and you're getting there, when you're putting too much carbohydrates on, you end up being fat because the carbs yeah. are actually sugars. People don't realise that pasta and rice, potatoes, all they mean is 
they've got more than one sugar, so complex sugars. Yeah. So the sugar complex in your body, carbohydrates, yeah, complex yeah. Yeah, carbohydrates. So they're in your they're in your body, and you just tend to it's, it's, it's not there's no such thing as turning muscle into fat or fat into muscle. It's a totally different compound. It's like turning plastic into metal. There's no such thing. So that's rubbish as well, yeah. isn't it? You know, yeah. just people come out with all these wife's tales, and you don't get fatter when you get older when you train only if you're eating the same diet and you stop training. So when you stop training, if you were on 5,000 calories, you're going to have to do about maybe 2,500, then you won't put the weight on as much. But if you're still eating 5,000 calories and not training, you're going to get fat. Yeah. 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 Sorry, uh, coffee bean. Yeah. I, yes, I remember um, uh, years ago, they took the time showing us how to do... Yeah, I would. Uh, I help anybody out. There's yeah. no ulterior motive for doing it. It's just the type of person I am, it's the type of person that Brian is, yeah. where he literally, it's enthusiasm. When you see somebody enthusiastic and asking questions, because there's a lot of people that just go in and I'm still learning. Yeah. And I've been, yeah. like next year, I've been training for 40 years. But I, I think I got a message off one person who's literally stipulated, I've been training for nine years. There's nothing you could possibly tell me. I know this. I'm still learning, and I'll still learn to the day I die, yeah, of course. Um, which will probably be another you know, just you know, What happens, <laughs> technology and science keeps getting better and better. So if, you, if you're not reading up on it every day, you're losing out. Because that's what I do. But like you said, you can read up on the wrong stuff. And, and people, the best thing to do is to go to the gym and go, what's the best steroids to take? None. If you're 16 years old to 25, 27, 28, you don't need any steroids because your body produces its own natural steroids and growth hormone. So you're detrimental taking it. You don't need any steroids at that age. Yeah, so yeah. when you're getting old, you might need very old age because yeah. just for helping well, you. Yeah, but you anyway. need to go and see a yeah. doctor. You can't just go and buy it off the black market because there could be anything in it. Just because it says testosterone in the bottle, it could be water for all you know. Mm. There's that much um, fake stuff getting made as well there. Yeah. But, uh, what's, what's the next question there? So um, um, no, uh, just a quick one. I uh, No, I'm not from Sheffield. I'm living in active at work, but I can't seem to get below 15 at... And I'm six foot two, uh, 15 stone. What's, so what was that again? I just drink socially. The lad, he's, uh, he's weight. Yeah. Advice, I am a roofer and I live yeah. in. I'm very active at work, but I can't seem to get below 15. At, I'm six foot two. Right, yeah. So so socially. basically, you're active. I'm assuming that you're, obviously, well, as I say, you're, you're, you're a roofer, which you're up and down the ladder all day. Now, this is, uh, somebody came up to me in the gym uh, last week and they went, right, Lee, um, I'm on this fasted, um, I'm on this fasted diet where literally you don't eat for seven, eight hours, then you have a meal, then you do the same thing. And I was like, what? I went, do me a favor. And literally, because I said, how long have you been doing this for? And they were like, well, I've been doing it for two years now. This is a, like a fasted type diet. And they've lost nothing because the body is an engine. It needs fuel to really grow muscle and, and burn, like literally burn your fat off. If you're running around on empty on one meal and then starving it, literally depriving it of everything that it needs, then you will not lose the weight. No. You will literally steer the steer. What happens is static. Like, like, like you're saying, if, you, if you do that, it goes catabolic. Yeah. And it starts eating. What happens is your you, body you eat muscle. keeps the fat yeah. on. And eats and the muscle away. It eats the muscle. Yeah. So you end up getting reversed. Yeah. So if you want enough protein in your body off on food, like he's telling you, your body will keep, right, keep the fat and get rid of the muscle. I'll give you a classic example. Three months ago, a woman came up to me in the gym again, um, in one gym. And uh, she said, look, I've got bingo wings, blah, blah. She didn't have bingo wings. What it was was literally the tone in the muscle had deteriorated yeah. because she was using this fasted diet. Yeah. And she hadn't changed. So how I simplified it was, has it worked the last two years? She went, no. So then are you open to try something different? Because if you're another two years, it's not going to work again. Because for two years, you've literally, it's not happened. Do me a favor. And I wrote her a diet out. Well, not a diet, sorry, a food plan of four meals a day. She has now lost, including obviously incorporated with the gym, she's lost a stone. Good. The thing is, another thing people do is uh, they, they don't eat enough food, like, like Lee said. Because yeah. the people do, are scared. They think, I've eaten yeah. hour, I put weight on, and eat the wrong times. Don't eat carbs after 8 o'clock, one of the main things. Because when you eat carbs that time of night, your body starts to shut down. It wants to go to sleep. So when you eat carbs, every time you eat bread, Right, anything like that, sugars, pasta, anything like that, it goes into your pancreas and it's it's the insulin producers. So you produce an insulin, insulin, insulin. In the end, you can produce too much. You can you can end up being a diabetic because you're never non-stop eating white bread. White bread's the worst thing in the world for you. It's terrible. Yeah. 
uh, that's another thing you've got to, got to you've got to, everything in life's a balance. You know, everything's got to be balanced out. And well balanced out, like he said, you don't need to have these protein drinks spent thousands of pounds. Get a couple of vitamins, a couple of minerals. Um, the, the well balanced diet, you get everything out of that. But if you're really training hard, you do need the extra protein. You're pushing yourself to uh, get bigger and stronger. But uh, yeah, you could you get uh, everything out of eggs and, yeah. and, and food. So uh, before that one disappears, naturally 48 years old, uh, weightlifters stuck on 250 kilo deadlift. Any tips? Um, yeah, basically, um, obviously, I'm well. If you're doing sort of like eight sets and you're building up, sort of starting on one plate, two, three, four, um, to, to 220, then obviously from 220, I'm assuming five plates, then you're starting to stick the weight on. Do, we'll go up to your max, try a one rep max. Just, if you're stuck at the 250, only stick a couple of kilos on. I've noticed a lot of people stick a plate on or they stick, you know, too much on. Just stick a, a little bit on, but then come back down in weight. Also, recovery time is another, um, uh, obviously, uh, essential part of getting past that sticking point of 250 kilos. Mm -hmm. And obviously, uh, attacking it in a different way. Go for high volume on your deadlifts. Drop down to, say, I don't know, 40% uh, of your weight and go for high reps. So next time when you do come for, you know, your 250, you'll find it a lot better. But I would suggest going on it a little bit, See how you get, I mean, 254. See what that does what, um, what, for one rep max what, and then come back down. What Bell Fox told me to do, he said, when I was with him, we should have won the 1983 with Olympia. He said, just put half a key on a month. And at the end yeah, of the yeah, year, you've yeah. got six key. Yeah. You know, so it sounds yeah. crazy. He said, Pe it's, people, it's, the thing going, is, yeah. You go, go really slow yeah. and you, you'll gain it. Yeah. The worst thing you do is, I'm stuck on 250, drop down to maybe 230 and do more reps. Yeah. Yeah, you've done, just because if you keep going for just the one rep, you know, you'll, you'll be on it. As you've just said there, say on two twenty, try try to go for him. I suggest with your two fifty, go for a two twenty and try try to go for your goal is ten reps. Yeah, once you get ten reps on that two twenty, add, add that little bit more on. But then I think if you're getting ten reps on two twenty, yeah. you go to your two fifty, you'll find it a lot easier. Yeah, you do. Um, another thing, great thing. If you look at my video where I was doing deadlifts. Um, Steve Rooks taught me who was in the Britain Strongest Man. He was five times second in the Britain Strongest Man. Grip work, put 10 plates each end and hold them as long as you can. Hold them one way and then hold them the other. Yeah. And that grip work. I, I was doing deadlift for six weeks. I kept dropping them. My hands went strong enough. So I started using the grip work and my hands got stronger and it was a lot easier to deadlift. What's, what's that off? Uh, is that Staffy? What's that? Um, this one. Staffy, Sorry, I had do apologise. I'm wearing glasses. He broken his knee. Done the uh, rugby injury, but I've lost the muscle in my leg. I advised I've got one muscle leg stick leg now. What you got to do there, mate? I've got the exact same thing. I've, I've, I've had all the carry on my back and everything. My left leg's weaker than the right. So, what I suggest you do is don't train the red, right leg at all, just train your left leg with leg extension. It's just really light, maybe five kilo weight on the on the on the extension and build that left leg up before. So, you just put it on the right because all the weight's going to take all the weight on the right again because it's stronger it is, yeah i mean what is 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 one leg operational and one not or yeah what he's saying even... is one leg's a stick compared to the other leg one leg right so more. yeah so basically uh, on that one uh, yeah i mean obviously you know train it but yeah train them both equally because but the thing is is do say if you have got a, a machine single uh single leg extension single leg yeah. extension with one leg because yeah. When you're using a bar or when you're using something, your weak side will, sorry, your strong side will Take compensate over. for your weak side. So you need to concentrate on each leg. Don't do like, but then again, don't do 15 reps on your weak side yeah. and 10 reps on the other. It doesn't work like that. No. Just literally concentrate on one on your weak side and on your, on obviously just keep doing on your strong side and your weak side will come up because this is what like say on a bench press when people do dumbbell they realize that the left is weaker now obviously when you're using a bar you come again it's the same principle you're compensating with your strong side to get it up so you see some people sort of going on an angle yeah. um so you literally need to do dumbbells a lot of dumbbell work or as i say single leg extension lunges um there is uh what is it there is leg presses now that are single legs so you're not compensating for the other one they're a solely active each one but don't do um what is it don't do loads on one and not no. on the other 
to, to try and get it because that will that principle won't work at all. Yeah, and probably maybe do it maybe two or three times a week. You like just that, yeah, that yeah, one yeah. day. Yeah. Really like obviously, that it will take yeah. time. It will yeah. take time to build it up. If you've yeah, obviously you said he had an injury there, was it? Or yeah, something? Yeah. 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 So if you've had an injury, you've got to build it up slowly, yeah. and it's going to take time. It's not. Yeah. It's not in a it's period of like. Five, now, yeah, it's. I was ten. What was it? 14, 16 weeks ago. Yeah. Right? I couldn't even walk, so I'm getting my hands started. I was going to say the same with your hands. It's, You've it's, got to move slowly and it's a slow process. And what happened after I'd be clever, I pushed myself a bit too much and ended up being back in bed for two weeks. Yeah. So you've just got to take your time. And, and like you say, time is a great healer, Joe Egan said to me not long ago. What's the next? Uh, but, what's um, the next? Um, what's this one? I don't know. I was wondering if you have tips to do natural lower sex hormone bending. Globally, my testosterone levels are very good, but my SHBG levels are too high, so my free testosterone in my body can use it is low. Right, yeah, I mean, that's sort of like, right, so I was wondering if you had uh, any tips to naturally lower sex hormone binding, uh, yeah, right, yeah. my testosterone levels are very good, but uh, so, right, yeah, uh, too high, so my free testosterone that my body can use is low. Yeah, that's, uh, I would sort of probably go and see like um, the doctor yeah, on that one. Get tested, yeah, tested. It's, I couldn't really sort no. of give you advice no. on that because you can get your test, you can get your, obviously your blood checked and then see whereabouts, because your estrogen -like levels might be quite high, your testosterone levels might be quite low. Yeah. Um, and then obviously the doctor, blood yeah, the doctor will actually say, well, they can put you on a program where they will give you sort of a steroid. Or a gel. Uh, yeah, yeah, something to, you know, bring your estrogen down, etc. Yeah. But that that is a sort of like a, a medical doctor's question there. Yeah. What's the next one? Uh, hello, hello, Mr. Brian. Uh, big shout out from... Bella Scott, keep up the good work. Uh, Brian, you, Mucka, take care, mate. Just be really nice, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just a um, good way to bring your tests on, and a good way to bring your testosterone levels up now at this time of the year. People, when the sun's out, you get vitamin D from the sun because it's a sunshine vitamin. But when the weather's like this and there's no sun, your testosterone levels drop because you've got no vitamin D in your body hardly, so you better go in the health shop and buy some uh, vitamin D and that'll raise your testosterone. And that, it's been proven and it raises testosterone levels and it makes people happier. That's why everyone's miserable from this time of year till March. And when the sun starts coming out, they get a bit more happier because yeah. they produce, produce a vitamin D. What, yeah. What's 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 the best average way to bench press for an average Joe Bloggs currently? Just whatever weight you're going to bench with. And you've always been, you never ever yeah. try and go and think, yeah. I'm going to just go. You see them going and go, yeah, one rep. Don't, yeah, days. don't. Really? It just, it, the thing is, is that, right, I am guilty of this. What I'll do is, I mean, people are more interested in seeing me lift 220 kilos rather than what I do is I do a compound movement and then the rest are high volume. Don't go in a gym and do egotistical lifting. Uh, it's called ego lifting, actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, there, there isn't, I would, please don't look at other people on Instagram and stuff like that on yeah. social media and go, oh, I'm only benching this. This guy's benching that. It's, yeah. It's nothing to do with that. It, there's there's a lot of factors involved in that. So don't you know? Don't look at it on a negative way. If you want to pull it, and obviously it's a different thing. But yeah. if you want to have a body the bodybuilder. Yeah. I mean, you can, there was a survey done with um, sixty people. Thirty people were lifted six reps, as heavy as they could, four sets of six, and the other thirty did three sets of twenty. And when they measured the muscles at the end of it, the both the, the, the thirty that did heavy. Had the same size muscles as the ones that did light. Yeah. So the muscle doesn't know what you can have a bottle of water in your hand and do it, or you can have a tin of paint in there and do it. Yeah. As long as stress is on the muscle, it'll work. So you don't need to, it's not always about the weight of land. We know bodybuilders, massive, huge bodybuilders, have 10 key dumbbells and they've got 23 biceps. It depends, everyone's different, responds different. Yeah. Some people need heavy weights to get bigger, some people don't. So What's the difference between uh, medical steroids uh, used by the doctors and uh, bodybuilders? Well, basically, <laughs> uh, uh, well, uh, 
Yeah, well, it depends because there's so much black market stuff out there. Yeah. The thing with going to your doctor, and if if you do have a low testosterone count, your doctor will, but he'll <laughs> monitor it. It gets monitored. Yeah. People over in America, um, if if you are going to see a doctor in America or you do see a doctor over here, they can monitor it. They can modi- mo- uh, monitor your kidneys, your heart, your liver, etc. Yeah. how much testosterone is in the blood. But also, you've got to get that correct balance because you can suffer from depression now the thing with street steroids is they're actually made sometimes by um just average joe blogs in a bath in a yeah 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 yeah. it's uh, they have to be made in a laboratory condition because there's germs in the air you can't see them there's people getting jabs not long ago i was talking and he said if 22 people in the gym bought these steroids yeah of a certain person what went in the name and every one of them end up in hospital yeah yeah and the thing is, is because that's what I'm saying, it's not, it, they're not sterile. There's no sort of, you cannot go to the police and go, oh God, I've just bought this and look what's happened, my leg's falling off. Because at the end of the day, you have no idea what you're injecting into yourself. No. With medical steroids, they're done by a professional pharmacy. Yeah. Now, you can imagine how much billions they would get sued yeah. if it was an incorrect steroid. But this is what we were talking about before. Every department, I think, in the hospitals use different types of steroids. Uh, asthma sufferers uh, take steroid tablets to, you know, yeah, uh, etc. So uh, cancer victims use, sorry, cancer, cancer people use basically uh, steroids to make them better. Um, growth hormones is used, again, for dwarfism, um, you know, people that find stunted growth, etc. So, but that's all monitored. It needs to be monitored. If you're not monitoring it and you, you then... 10 years down the line, or it might, it might not even be that, you could be have high blood pressure, kidney, you know, kidney failure, etc. Yeah, you, you need that. Large large heart. Heart. If you are, I'm not telling you to take steroids, and Lee's not telling you to take steroids, but if you are taking lots of tests, you must go and get your blood tested every now and then because it thickens the blood, produces yeah. so many red blood yeah. cells, and you can make it very dangerous. So you've got to go and get blood transfusion to thin your blood back out, which if you check up, you'll, you'll see yeah, I'm right. And also... Uh, people, young kids, you don't, you don't need steroids. You produce enough, don't yeah. you? Yeah, it is. You get, this, get big. We, 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 we were young and we trained. We never took nothing. I, I, what was it? It was uh, after I'd done a documentary on BBC, on BBC Five Live. There was a, what was it, uh, Joe, that uh, this was when Lifeline was about. They were looking at actually, um, uh, obviously this is the needle exchange, of giving it to 16-year-olds. Mm. Um, now I, I don't agree with that whatsoever. No. That that in itself, yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous because your hormones are still growing and growing, and you, you can put so much mass, strength, and size on. You don't stop growing until you're about 21, 22. 21, yeah. yeah, it's twenty one. But like I would say, some people probably still growing on until the twenty two. But I definitely wouldn't. You know, it, it's a shame because it's again, it's social media, isn't it? Where People are looking at it, and you see, you are, you're seeing, like, I think I've seen a 17-year-old doing a deadlift of, like, 300 kilos, and you're like, what is going on there? I personally don't know. I can't I can't stipulate on that one because, one, I don't know what the person's doing. I don't know. Obviously, it, you know, that is an extreme heavy – the thing is, is the, the level has now has gone so high up that you could question whether performing enhanced drugs is yours. Tony Stuck said, did you know my friend Lee Martin – but Bur- 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 Burford taking tablets on the draft 15 minutes. Oh, I do Burford. I would definitely, Martin. Martin Burford, is it? I've t- don't take this offensively, please don't, because I've trained with it. Like Brian, we've trained with a lot of people. Um, I've trained four times with four different people in one day. Um, and sometimes, you know, because this is what I'm saying, don't be scared to come up to different people. Don't get me wrong, there might be some sort of people that want to do their own training, but I, I love to help other people. My friend Mark McLaughlin likes helping a lot of other people, so you can go up to him and sort of say, yeah, can I train with you? Um, and I do train with a lot of people, but because of that, sometimes, you know, it, it's I recognise people by the face, not by the name, yeah, yeah. and I don't mean any offence yeah. by that. 
people say that to me, can you remember me? And I was like, <laughs> 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 yeah, you're like, you're like, what is, yeah, uh, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. And when you're standing on a door and you're going, do you remember me? And you're like, well, oh, a, a thousand up, you know, people have come in that night. Somebody will come up on the door and say, it's the last come in London. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's 3,000 people. Yeah, have you, seen, have you seen a guy coming out with black hair? Yeah, you're like, I don't know. <laughs> you know, you know Stephen, I'm like, I, I'm not too sure. <laughs> uh, my pet, yeah. what, oh, God, right. So, sorry, is this Tammy? Tammy, right. Yeah, no. So, no, Anadrol 50, uh, uh, my partner is eating them like sweets. Oh, well, I'd definitely say no because no. it's a very toxic, highly androgenic. Yeah. It literally one. is. If when people, if they're going to take something like that, I would only recommend to take them for like four weeks. Oh, if yeah. that. I've even, I've um, seen, I, I had one when I was up nose bleach. Just and, and, and to be perfectly honest, if it was the proper, and I'm glad it isn't, yeah. if it was the proper Anadrol that was in the 80s and 90s, yeah, so, yeah. you'd be in hospital by yeah, now. So I'd and sort of, be gone, yeah. kidneys would be gone. It's, yeah. the worst, it's the worst steroid for destroying your liver and your kidneys. People need to realise, uh, what's, what's that, sir? Uh, people need to realise your heart and muscle and grow and it will grow yeah that's right yeah, yeah, because, and that's yeah. why you've got to go on if you do go on selling you've got to go on for so maybe eight weeks ten weeks come off for six seven eight weeks because then it gives your heart time to go back on because if all you take the bigger your heart gets the bigger the heart gets it can't compensate and it'll just stop and th that question how many uh days uh is ideal to train it depends well, what you want doesn't it? yeah it depends what your, your goal is i mean i would recommend just just for somebody that wants to keep fit three to four times yeah, three yeah. to four times a week yeah. monday wednesday friday or if you've got a weekend free then tuesday thursday saturday or sunday um do some training if you're doing training but as, as brian said there it all depends what your goal is yeah. if you want to get fitter and you want to lose weight then i would say on on average you're, you're looking at like four times a week yeah three Three, three, you know. three times three, yeah. maybe a bit three of and a walk. Of, yeah, yeah, a walk. Kind of bike yeah. walk. You don't necessarily have to go into a gym. Just oh. go three times in the gym and go for a walk. Well, there's a stair master. You stair. <laughs> walk up the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm oh, saying, I'm going to sit for a stair master. Uh, I'm saying yeah. that now, and it's yeah. winter. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I, I probably wouldn't recommend that if you're going to walk up, um, yeah. uh, you know, yeah. to, uh, Rosemary yeah. Topping. Top, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right, what, what is it? Oh, yeah, you guys, yeah. you're looking uh, healthy, bright. You look well, there you go. Yeah, um, thanks very much. Yeah, what's that? Um, your book, Amazon, ready. Your, I'm training in the arthritis and shoulder and hip, many low impact resistance. Am I going the right way? Yeah, you may, you've just got to just keep going, just uh, keep training and uh, just try and not push yourself so much, try and do like. Uh, a bit of yoga is really good and stretching and things like that when you've got injuries. Um, I, I, I did an 800 pound deadlift and I went, I was in the gym buzzing, jumping all, all over. I came home and I went to dig the garden and pulled me back out yeah. by digging a hole, little yeah. hole in the gap back garden. <laughs> so <laughs> it's crazy because you prepared for the deadlift and yeah. you went, but you think, yeah. oh, all my back's going up, salt seeds up my back. Yeah, you're just you're pushing yourself. Yeah, push yourself. But always, I think every 10 weeks you should have a week off. And every maybe every I train heavy maybe every two weeks, not every single week because you can yeah. burn yourself out when yeah. you have so many injuries when you do it. Going for that one little all the time, you're not going to keep getting it every week and go for goals that uh, you can achieve. If you're going for a goal, I'm going to bench 100k this week. You're not going to do it, so you're going to go down. You're going to be depressed. So just say, well, I'm going to do 50. Yeah, and just go for goals that are, 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 are what can be. You know you can do, mm. but not not trying to do something. You know, and not everyone can turn into Alice Schwarzenegger lifting weights because it's to do with genetics. Mm. Not everyone's going to be Mr. Olympia, but just be the best version of yourself. What you can be, if you can lose the body fat we want, put a few stone on, you know, it's coming up. You're saying looking good, then you've achieved something. You you don't all have to be Olympic sprinters or runners or athletes. Anyone can train. I've got loads of people who've got mental health, or when you got one arm and. The legs have been blown off of the wall and things like that. You can have to that. And I've got them training the elastic resistant bands. There's no excuse not to train. You can train a wheelchair. You can train anywhere. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I mean, you, I was, what was it? There's a girl that I know that literally, I will use the word hypochondriac. Um, she's got a bad knee. Right, you've got a bad knee. Train your upper body. Um, you know, if you've got a bad knee, look at what the problem is and slowly rehabilitate it. If you literally just sit on the couch and go, right, my knee's hurt and I can't go to the gym, 
then straight away you've lost that battle to reach a goal and it's going to make it worse. It's going to yeah. seize up. I keep saying to this individual, I won't mention the name, but for the last five years, they've made an excuse of not going into a gym because the right knee is bad. Well, then get up, train your top half. You know, you can train your upper body, but you can also rehabilitate it because trust me, yeah. in another two years' time, that knee is going to be even worse because it's not even been active. Another great thing you can do with if, you, if your knees hurt, go to the swim baths because it's less yeah, weight yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah. Walk in the water, the hydro pool. Another thing is, people go, oh, I've got uh, my knees kind of half right. I said, well, the thing is, you need to train. You've got half right to your knee, and man's terrible. It's like a pattern of Chris crunching in my knees. But the thing is, what happens is, if you stop training your knees, the muscle will dissipate, then it's going to be bone on bone. So it's going to be yeah. even worse. So you've got to get up and you've got to move more mobility. I mean, it's only been what? It's, it's not been long since you've had two back operations. Yeah. And already, you're in a mindset of right. Yeah. I'm going to do this. Brian's been on the phone to me and gone. Listen, Lee, I want to do this, this, and this. Straight away, there's your motivation. He's, you know, he's not gone and laid on a bed and gone. Right, that's it. They've said I, I couldn't walk for. Well, they said he two, couldn't two walk. Three, yeah. Two or three years. Now he's walking about. He's moving about. So but bit to train on elastic. Negative training. attitude. You could have just been laid there watching Netflix, thinking, "Oh God, that's, that's it." That's right. I'm wrong, man. I'm yeah, yeah. Up. yeah. No, you've got to just keep going. You've got to keep going. You know, it's just, it's uh, and the, the the heavy. I still think heavyweights is really good to, to get big. Yeah. But oh, I yeah, also yeah. believe in high, high repetition. Yeah. Well. High repetition. I think I, high I, high repetition, nice and steady. And I do that really slow, like Kai Green. Yeah. He's really good at yeah. it. When he does it slow. You'll see him lifting a little tiny weight and he's huge, but it still works. You know, it's who called was, hypertrophy. Who was the bodybuilder that only used light weights and he, he was massive? Paul the lap. There was uh, another uh, one as well that came over to uh, Redcar when Don Williams was. Um, Marlon Dart was I, th I think the, the the heaviest I saw this this gentleman lift was like five kilos on either side. But he, 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 that's it, yeah. Taylor, yeah. He did things slow and methodical yeah. to yeah. to really engage that muscle. He says it doesn't matter yeah. what you're doing. Job. If you're reps. doing like fifty reps, yeah, the muscle's still engaging. But you've got to keep mixing it up. You can't keep doing the same thing every day because if you do the same, you go to the gym like and you'll see someone and six months look great, been yeah. training look great. You go back six and eight, they still look the same. Yeah. They're still doing the same routine. You've never changed it. You've got to change your routine and you know and have rest and eat properly. You can't just walk in the gym, you've got to do the work. What's this? After a long sorry, we're just um no what's anything there online. That's good to get um, high five people. Yeah, no problem, guys. Uh, as of lifting heavy as possible or mind muscle connection or lower weight with perfect form. Well both like we've just said you've got to, you've got to yeah. use everything. After a, long, what's that? After a long illness, lots, uh, loads of weight. I'm six foot four and only weigh nine uh, stone. What's the best way to help to put weight on, please? Um, but eat, 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 and obviously go in the gym and just slowly, as I say, get your form right first. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. Don't go in and go right. I, 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 I'll, I will deadlift like five <laughs> plates on either side. I will bench press like four. It doesn't work like that. Start progressively, and you will your, your muscles will start responding. But it is vitally important, as, as we said at the start, where people are scared to eat. You need to eat. You need, to eat, you, yeah. you need like I've done a, a, a diet recently for someone, and they went, "Oh, Lee, this is more than I usually eat," because he wasn't eating enough. You've got to literally get those calories in to put the size on, yeah. not just starve yourself all day yeah. and then go out for a takeout. It also depends on how big you are and what size. Yeah, so it, it's you obviously a different body body. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you can have a car like a Mini for a five and you can drive all over. And you've got a five series BMW on the front, you need a lot more juice because it's a bigger car. So yeah. you've got to do that. But you've got to, like I say, you've got to just keep mixing it up, changing your routine around every couple of months as well. Don't just do the same thing. Routine, everybody seems to do back. Chest on a Monday, do back on a Monday. You can't get on the machines. That's do legs, six. do legs. legs I do legs on a Monday. I do always, legs. I always did back it's... on a Monday because no one did back. Well, you know what they call Mondays, don't you? Yeah. International chest, yeah. chest day. It's they, international they, chest day. They, they cut, cut <laughs> they right. Day, yeah. Could could you ask Lee <laughs> what protein from foods would be recommended to help develop um, muscle growth? Um, chicken, uh, fish, tuna, um, pasta. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. I mean, obviously that's for your carbs. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I would say that steak, steak red steak, meat, steak, yeah, red meat, mints, um, that's yeah. their good protein sources. Um, turkey, 
So yeah. this is what I'm saying. Don't look at these protein drinks and go in and be, you know, yeah, sort of bamboo with them because they well the way they look, yeah. it's presentation, and then you look at the back and go. This is what I'm saying before, like uh, at the start. It says fructose, it's sugar. Sucrose is a sugar. Yeah. They're uh, they, they're literally ways of sort of Calling glorifying. Sugar. Ooh, it's good. Dexter, that must make you know. <laughs> yeah, it, Fructose, that it is, like it's, a good one. Yeah, so... But well, it's like, just go in the kitchen this is and why get I'm two not, pound bag of sugar and just pour it in your drink. And the worst thing about protein drinks <laughs> is when the ones that do taste nice is they depress your appetite where you drink it and then all of a sudden you can't eat the next three meals. Yeah, no, and also... You'll get the... Run, you'll get the yeah, you'll get the, you'll get the shits all day. But what you better do is instead of taking the scoops what they tell you, just take about a yeah. quarter of what they tell you to take. I the, start off with one drink a day. And w- one thing, if you get a good isolate protein, is you yeah. can add it with your oats. Yeah. Um, you can you can <laughs> add it for flavouring with different things, but I would say sort of like a cereal, like your oats, yeah. just a, an isolate which has got like probably I don't know where one percent or maybe two point five percent carbohydrates in it. The rest is, but again. For your for your protein, you're looking at your amino acids, which is yeah. a, it's it's a powder drink that you can get, um, which is the best. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's great in your system as well. What, what's it's the, great. To, it's great to know because if you take it before training and after, when you get up the next day, you don't ache nowhere near as much as yeah. you do, and you could eat, drink protein drinks all day long. But what one thing that I took when I was doing the Britain uh, on a night time before I went to bed was cottage cheese mm, because it's good. very good for releasing protein during the night and giving the best growth. And I, I actually started dieting at 17 stone and stuck with 17 stone. Yeah. Um, and that was one of the little, it wasn't a secret, everybody knows about it, yeah. but having half a tub of cottage cheese on a night time, I woke up and I was like, whoa, you know, that yeah. sort of kept my muscle there. Another good one is bare protein, um, peanut butter. Yeah. It's good on the night, yeah. you know, yeah. it's good for your body, really good for you. What's the next one? Um, next one, um, Governor Chapman, I started a healthy eating plan. I eat four meals a day, three hours apart from each other, and I've lost just under seven pounds in ten days. Do you think to do much? I'm eating stone at the moment. No, you're doing really good. Just if that's where you made perfect. The, 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 again, this is going on about diets, right? Diets where you lose about two stone in about I don't know eight weeks, right? Is totally wrong. Because there's probably something else added into that one. Yeah. Um, stay away from any dietary uh, tablets or anything yeah, like that. Tablet pills. Because as soon as you stop taking them, you will you have a rebound effect and you'll put it all back on. And also, like do it, up. yeah, do it slowly. You, the, what you've just put there in the description is absolutely perfect. One, yeah. Be patient, and the weight will come off slowly, and you'll keep it off. Yeah. If you lose it dead fast, it you will put it on yeah. dead fast. You don't get, you can't run what's built in a day. You plus, can't, you can't run a marathon. Plus, it, it's like a mental health issue as well, where yeah. literally, as I say, if you go too much into it, where you're like, right, what I'm going to do is eat this, this, and this, like chicken and rice, chicken and rice, chicken and rice, chicken and rice, you're going to just have a rebound effect where you're going to go, I've had that's enough. It. That's, uh, it. that's it. You'll spend the next like three weeks eating pizza. Another, another one going to the gym and killing yourself in the gym the first day, and you, you can't walk for three days. Yeah. So put you right up, go in that gym and go in and do a little bit of. Say 10 bench press, finish with chest, 10 pull downs, the leg extension, leg bicep. Just go on the machines, free the machines, just so you build up your ligament and tendon strength. Because you can go in and you can snap a tendon, a ligament, and then you're off for months and months. So build up that bit of strength. And the worst thing is keep off the bench press at the, when you press going because you're all over, like you're on a boat. Yeah, yeah. So you go on like the Swiss machine, just so you build up that confidence and then you. Start going and always go with spot. Always have something to spot you when you're doing free weights. Gavin, that sorry, there, Brian. Yeah, that Gavin, fun. that's another uh, good thing there. Uh, you've stopped drinking fizzy drinks. Fizzy oh, drinks, the worst. it was yeah. absolutely. I mean, I don't know whether it's diet or it's full fat fizzy drinks, but literally, you've got you've done another good thing there where you've gone to water. Water cleans the system out. You know, people. What was it? My uh, boss at work. He's literally. He, I'm trying to think how many liters a day he's trying to drink. It's it's like that. Yeah. Yeah, um, but yeah. it does. It's really, obviously you're going to the toilet a lot of times. But fizzy drinks, full of you know, full of sugars. Well, I think it should be banned. I really yeah. do because yeah. that's why the kids are so big now. Because the fizzy drinks is twelve spoonfuls of sugar in one drink. That that's the, which is ridiculous. But do it slowly. Obviously, as you just said yeah. there, if if you if you're drinking Coca Cola, go to Diet Coke. Then from Diet Coke, go to flavored water. From flavored water, go to and water. If you want a treat, have a treat. You, yeah, you t- yeah, your yeah. taste buds yeah. adapt. You know what I mean. Yeah. But I'm not saying stop everything. No. If you fancy a can of Coke, 
then then have one, but every now and again. But yeah. then have it on a morning, not on a night time. Yeah. yeah. What's what's the next one? Next one. Um, doing it natural. I'm it doing good. it natural, yeah. Andrew yeah. Reed. Hello, guys. Jack, guys, well done. Looking good, Brian. From um, from Scotland. Can you advise me on what food to eat to lose weight? Well, food to eat. I'd be like we just said, tuna fish, um, salad. It, uh, vegetables, yeah, um, potatoes, rice, but just not as much. You know what you're probably doing is eating too many carbs. carbs uh, uh, yeah, and Ag again, there isn't as you as I say. That's exactly right what Brian said there. But again, this is plain and simple. A lot of a lot of people that aren't trying to sell brands and stuff like that, right? There isn't. A, you can't like. I haven't looked at a food and gone. Do you know what? That's going to make me lose weight. It's calorie deficit. Doesn't matter what you're eating, just make sure you're in a calorie deficit. Yeah. Not a large amount, just a small amount. And then as long as you're in that calorie deficit, you will lose weight. There isn't a specific food that's going to, sorry, I don't know what context you put that in, to lose weight. It's just basically look and go, right, yeah. say you're eating 3,000 calories a day, drop it down to 2,500 calories a day, and then see, what uh, uh, yeah, what happens. And then if you're not losing, then drop it and you but don't feel fatigued if you start feeling fatigued up it a little bit you might be lowing like because then you'll start getting low iron you know it, once you start messing around don't as i say i will say this over and over again the atkinson diet i think is terrible the the one that i came across that's probably the most one that works is a slim fast because it actually yeah. tells you however say say for example using this example slim fast what it says is eat five meals a day brilliant that's what you want to do but then it goes right you're allowed points don't save those points to like say a saturday which a lot of people do they go do you know what i'm gonna eat this like chicken and rice chicken and rice chicken and rice all day, all week and then on the saturday what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna order a pizza because it says so many points yeah. and then i'm gonna have six cans of lager because you'll overload your system at the end of the day like you stipulated before yeah enjoy yourself have a treat every day so on that slim on that slim fast man instead of overloading because i know a lot of people that wait till a saturday they go i've got 18 points that means i can have a pizza a kebab and six cans of lager they wake up the next morning they're fatigued groggy and they can't terrible. do anything yet you're terrible you're, you're, you've, and all that your Plus system's you, trying to digest it and it can't, can't you, you, you've used to the right yeah you've, you've cleared it you've cleared it it's yeah. like having a little yeah. yeah if i get anything like past these pastry anything yeah I'm assuming it blows up like a balloon so i'm the same on you i've got a uh, specific food um certain um sauces and things like that yeah, to make yeah. It but what he was saying there is, is a good um was a good thing where people look at things well this is uh this is chicken i can eat as much as i want no you can't <laughs> so can you eat like six six chickens it's still the calories in the chicken just because it's chicken there's protein it's still got millions of calories in it if you're eating loads of it so you can't eat as much as you want of one good thing. You've got to mix them up. And you've got to have the right amount of that, that calories in your body for your size and your weight. And don't keep going on the scales every day. And yeah, all of us a pound. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but, yeah. oh, that's a deal with you. I, I put one on. What, a pound? Fit an ounce? An ounce? <laughs> an ounce is a sip of water, do you know what I mean? So, sorry, you're going on sorry, the scales yeah. every day, six times a day. I'm not laughing to ridicule anyone. No, no, but yeah, they yeah, are women. Yeah, the women, yeah. that you know, it's all the times women. Yeah. But in there, yeah, they'll yeah. take they'll go and Yeah, do don't. I've got the title of a peep. I love a bit more weight. One thing, <laughs> one another thing that I've noticed that I was talking to someone the other day about is um, these don't get obsessed with things. I've seen a lot of people. I spoke to somebody in Australia, and and uh, she's worried about a friend because a friend literally has been told to train for two hours in the morning and an hour and a half on the cardio at night time, no. and she's worried that she's over training. Well, the thing is, is this is getting so common now; it's unbelievable. But the thing is, is where is your life? Yeah. Like you need, you you need to enjoy life. So, you, I mean, don't get me wrong. It is going to work if you're eating and you're going in, but yeah. it, it's what we call obsession. It might look that I'm in the gym 24-7, but I'm helping people. It, it's, people aren't you? it's in my area, but I train once. I think myself, 30, 40 minutes in the gym is yeah. enough. Yeah. That's it. You don't need any more of that. You're going on the board then. Mm. And if, you, if, you, if you're if you not pushing your, if you're not push, if you're pushing yourself for that 25, 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 
That's all you need. But, you push but, this is... but then when you when you go in the gym, you're going, oh, oh yeah, you just gotta sell it. Yeah, I've been in the gym two hours training. You know, but it's it done what ten minutes training. The thing is, for two hours. the thing is, is we're coming into where we are. We're in a society now where, like Brian said, there you step on a pair of scales every day and you're going right. I've lost this pound. Now we've got a wristwatch that's that's a Fitbit or a smartwatch, yeah. right? And everybody's going like that. And sometimes when I message people at night time, they're going. Oh God! Uh, especially the, as I say, I'm not being sexist or anything like that. They're going, "Oh my God! I've only done five thousand steps. I need ten thousand steps in a day." Yeah. So they go for a walk late at night. Now these things on your wrist, I did have one. I was guilty of it. It it records your sleep. It records how long you've trained for. Yeah. How many? Right on the calorie burning when you get on a treadmill and stuff like that. It all depends what your metabolism is, metabolism is like. Yeah. These walking machines and stuff like that, and the stairmasters, they're only giving an average estimate of how long you've been on. It's not saying that, like, say you eat these three thousand calories and you walk on that for two hours. It's saying you've lost, like, you've burnt the thousand calories. That's total rubbish. Do you know what I mean? L take it by looking in the mirror. Yeah, and. It's unfortunate, but I've come across so many people now. I'd say, honestly, Brian, it's about 90% of the population now have got these on the... Yeah. I see them now going, it's not the phones anymore now because you can get your messages yeah. on, your, on your watch. Yeah. But they're going like that. Oh, look, I, I'm like, um, I've only been training for so and so and I'm supposed to hit this target. So then, then they're just looking around the gym thinking, what else am I going to do? But it's just on a timer. The next thing, they feel good because they've trained for like... Two hours, yeah. but they've been in the gym for four hours. Another, another bad thing, if you train late on the night as well, it keep, keeps you awake. Yeah. Because your body should be yeah. asleep at that time yeah. of night. If you train two or three in the morning, you're getting going to the gym training, it keeps your body awake because you've, you've alerted it. Uh, you're pumping blood around in your, 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 your hyper, you know. What's that next? A guy I have, yeah. a, what is it, guys I have? A... Right. Bench, bench and but... a bar with only 25 kilos on each. And can you tell me what the best workout is? Can I do what I've had for? It's hard for me to do long time because I'm look after my nana. Yeah, well, what you do is you just do more reps. High intensity. Uh, high, high intensity. intensity. Less, like, less rest. Do 25 reps and just have 10 seconds rest. 25 yeah. reps, yeah. 10 seconds rest, so it's easier. Just put a put a stopwatch on you, get your phone, put it on a... You, you literally don't... Have, like, everybody's like, yeah, on average, people train for an hour. Any longer than an hour anyway, you're going hyperglycemic. Ah, you, yeah. You're going catabolic. Yeah. You'll get hyperglycemic. Um, you'll just feel fatigued. And, more, and another more, thing more. as well is everyone's taking this pre-workout, so they've got a misconception where they're going on for ages and ages. Yeah. Again, you're burning the wrong type of thing off. You're burning, uh, burning the muscle off. With that, as say, an average, as you, like you say there, 30... You see, I see a lot of people, and as you said there, right, I've seen a, a person in the gym, right, for three hours, and they're on that, right? They're going, they've done a set and then spent 10 minutes on that. So then that's like, say, the exercise took, what, 30 seconds? Yeah. 10 minutes on that. And so then... It's not like you've done anything. Yeah, you've, you've, you've done well, the rest. To be perfectly honest, you haven't done anything. No. So what you need to do is literally put the intensity in. Yeah. It's what you put into it. So if you go high intensity for 30 minutes, even yeah. that, yeah. you have done better than someone staying in the gym for that two and a half hour, man. Yeah. You're just kidding yourself, huh? Yeah. I've been in for two hours. Yeah. Looking on Instagram. So what? <laughs> it's what you do in the gym when you yeah. get there. And, yeah. and I don't want to be rude to people. I'll say, people come on and ask me a question but I'm, when I'm training. I'll just... Yeah. I'll just yeah. I don't, I just get on I the put train. my headphones on. I yeah. don't mean to be ignorant to people. I will ask, like, if somebody comes up to me and asks me a question, yeah. like, what am I doing? This, that, and the other, I will gladly explain. Yeah. Um, but I have my headphones on and I'm in the zone. I'm not being ignorant or egotistical or awful. Mm -hmm. I just want to get my workout because not only do I train for, like, literally, I like my training because. It it's it releases endorphins yeah. and it, it's good for my confidence. That's well, why I've always trained. You've been doing that long, it's yeah. more, than, more than half your life. It's like a but hobby. It, 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 is, like a it hobby. is a hobby, but it's a it makes thing. me feel good it in makes myself. You feel yeah. good and, and it's a hormone that you produce at the same hormone when you're taking illegal drugs. Yeah, but you don't have to pay it, for endorphins it. in your brain is the gamma, best drug ever. Beta, yeah. All these things you, you produce. Yeah, naturally. And you come out and you're like, yeah, and you're like an image that training. She loved it. She said, oh, I can't believe it. I feel great. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people do over train, um, yeah. Guess what is your opinion on steroids? Steroids are good if the doctor's giving you them and you need them, or if you're ill. I wouldn't go on steroids for just to get big or to look better. Or to look yeah. good. Unf unfortunately, because... 
again, this is probably going on to yeah. social media. Um, Something there. <laughs> but that's just, uh, bear, bear with me. We're just, uh, that's just uh, uh, an update of the, yeah. uh, right, yeah. take that off. Sorry there, just doing a bit of computer skills there. Uh, I'll just start put that in. Um, <laughs> right. So basically, um, that was on steroids, wasn't it? What was it? Um, yeah, so uh, do you think people should take steroids or, yeah. No, it. The, the, this is going on image again, um, and and again looking at, at people. You look on that right. These people that are put the post the pictures are only posting them when they've done a sixteen week diet. Yeah. That don't look like that all year round. If don't get me wrong, I know a couple of people do, yeah. and they are totally dedicated, which I admire a hundred percent. But please don't get into the thing where you think. It, you right. I know a lot of people. I know quite a few people that actually take steroids, Brian, but yeah. don't go in the gym. Yeah, yeah. Right, it, and that's not a secret, right? Yeah, it's a, it, a tablet. Do you think at the end of the day, if I could just take one tablet, I would be in the gym at five o'clock in the morning? I would rather be asleep in bed, laid next to Sandra Bullock. Yeah, plain and simple. If I could take a tablet. There is no secret tablet. Even if you were taking that, you would still have to train 10 times as hard. Um, there is no way of cheating. No, there's no way of cheating. There's no way of doing it. hard work. Be patient. Hard. I've trained for 40 years, not just like, and I, I trained for five years before he, anybody even realized that, you know, I, I was sort of putting the, the size on. Yeah. Yeah, you can't just take a study. There's no magic wand and uh, no. magic fairy. Get God, before my mother comes on and buff. It's hard work. My legs like that. That's skinny, and I end up with thirty-six inch thighs. You know, monstrous legs. I had. Well, I didn't get it just by doing nothing. I was at the gym. Shout out for what? Um, Mali O One Two One. What's going on, Brian? It's disgusting. Uh, weasel blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah. We just we sick of it as well, mate. Yeah, um, oh, yeah, you're telling me about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Don't take lots of hard work, and it, I know, I know it takes lots of hard work and dedication. Just stick to the diet, and takes a lot, a lot better. Yeah, yeah. Just take your diet. Gary Walker, chap, chap. T's four hundred. I'll test four hundred. Over fifties. What's your opinion? As again, go to the doctor, see them. You might not even need to. If, so. if you again, I mean, don't get me wrong. Again, I know people uh, sort of like in the forties and the fifties. They go to the doctors, and the doctor, if you've got a low testosterone count, that's also to do with you know it does affect your um, chemicals in your brain. So the reason that the doctor will probably put you on say, but this again, it's monitored. It's mon like you will have an app on your phone yeah. where it will tell you the levels of your testosterone and your estrogen, but that needs to be monitored by your doctor. Don't be taking mixtures of what was that test Test phone, I don't believe there's yeah. such a thing. There isn't, there isn't. Because what, what it was years ago when test was out would be one mil, uh, two mil of Deca, two mil of water, and it'd be only 50 milligrams of decorins. So how are they going to put 500 mil in one mil? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's impossible yeah. to get it in. So yeah. what they've done is what they've done is they started putting alcohol in. And because it's that strong, it really hurts. You know, all it was is alcohol. Mm. And so people are jabbing themselves. But well, it's got to be good. It really kills me when I'm having the jab. But when you go to the doctor, you get to the doctor. I got off the doctor before when I was taking this. I was getting the test off him. It wasn't hurting me when I was getting off him. So the stuff that they're making is um is made up just on the black market. Well, and steroids or not is a notorious work, I think, on steroids. Your body uh, clunks for food more. Yeah, more it does. So. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's... can make you fat as well because you're eating that much food. You, you retain it. water. Um, yeah, salt. Because obviously it's affecting you. It, I mean, this is... People are coming straight in the gym and they're going, right, Lee, I want to go on this. And I'm like, no, don't. Just yeah. please train. See if you like it, like training-wise. See what benefits. There's a lot of people there with high testosterone count anyway. Yeah. Um, again, I think this is all stemming from social media because everybody's seeing people on social media and they're going, don't forget, people, this is the elite uh, of the whole world. 
So you're getting like 10 people in each country. How many people are in the world? I don't know. That's just seven, seven billion. Is it? Seven billion. So I was set, we're, we could all competing against seven billion people. Yeah. Sorry, 70 billion, is it? Seven billion, just over seven yeah. billion. Seven billion. But what it is, and all, you know, when you take this testosterone and stuff, and you see these people, the bloke look like Michelin Man. They've got all the water, all like that, they're full of water. Because what they do, they take, they're taking them um, tons of tests. And all it does is hold loads of water and salt in your body. And as soon as you stop taking it in two weeks, it just all comes gold water babies. So all the water, the weight comes off them. And you go, bloody hell, you've lost weight. <laughs> and then they get more depressed. They, then they say, I'm going back on it. And they take more. What was that? Last time my boyfriend took steroids, he used eye drops to make himself look hard. All right, okay. I'm lost. <laughs> oh, Sorry, I do apologise. Um, yeah, any, anybody want any questions apart from steroids on sort of like... Yeah, um, yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll get off the subject of that. Yeah. Um, I'm struggling with training. Well, permanent night and shift. Um, yeah, yeah. You think working night affects your training. Again, I can, well, I can answer this one. People are currently going, Lee, I can't train because, right... I've run three pubs. I own three pubs. Um, I've also done. Um, I've worked at so British Telecom. Says they take eye drops as a diuretic. Oh right, yeah. right. I get you. Sorry, I do apologise right. there. Yeah. yeah um, again, right. I can't stipulate this because I haven't got the statistics on this one. Right. However, thirty p thirty bodybuilders have died from uh, twenty seventeen to uh, today's date. And it's all been heart failure and stuff like that. Now, weren't we talking about this before where in a certain country there's been a coach where I think five uh, bodybuilders have died, but it's all to do with um, uh, Clem Brutroll and diuretics. Diuretics, yeah. Um, it totally dehydrates your body. So this is causing people to have heart failure, yeah. strokes, etc. The lip, etc. Yeah, so, because it gives it, it, it's giving you no, it, yeah. but not just it's giving you that good condition. So not only are people sort of taking steroids, they're taking like diet tablets, yeah. like ephedrine, and these are all derivatives of amphetamines, which yeah. is very bad for yeah, you. Speed, and this yeah. is what's calling heart, heart failures. I think the youngest bodybuilder was a woman. She was only 20, 26 or 28 or something like that. And she literally had heart failure. But it, And they looked at it, and it was due to the fact that she was taking a diuretic. It's going from a little bit bad with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, the same thing. The, the, out of those, is, you're looking great for one day, and then you're going to die. So statistically, <laughs> out of those 30 that are actually on YouTube that you can look at, mm. There was one that uh, I think there's one guy that uh, sorry two individuals that committed suicide, uh, one with a car accident, um, and I think the other one was just natural causes. But the rest all had heart failures. Now that's also obviously when you're taking pre workout and you're like yeah. people are coming in the gym and they're shaking like that. Yeah. That means yeah. that's a sign of taking clenbuterol, which is very detrimental to your body, and then literally that will cause strokes and heart attacks. It will make you look phenomenally and well. And the same. Yeah. That makes you yeah. I, I, I hear it once, somebody gave me three of them, and I was shaking like a leaf when I got them up to them again. They've got they got to you know, make you speed up. Yeah. They've got to, what is it, sorry, uh, they've got to dehydrate themselves to look better. That Yeah, unfortunately, that's what people are doing. Uh, again, it, people that go for competitions are doing a 16-week diet plan. Yeah. You cannot look that good all no, year round. No, no. You can if you're taking, as you said there, diuretics and stuff like that to dehydrate your body because yeah. it's taking all the water underneath your skin. You need that. You look healthy. Yeah. You, look, healthy. you do you look, look healthy. healthy. You yeah. Got yeah, yeah. You can see a lot of people that compete because, the, the, like, literally when I went in for the Mr. Britain, I was like, yeah, that person's compete. I mean, even I look terrible. I, don't get me wrong. You look good. on You, you don't look good in the face. Yeah. But you look good on the body. Takes all the water out of your body. You see, again, you as soon as I did the competition, I got my blood count done. I got my sperm count checked. I did all the medical right things because do, doing that severe diet was detrimental to my body. Yeah, it's really, really yeah. hard. I mean, I was eating baby food and all sorts of yeah. stuff, and I competed not to his level. I was in the Mr. England. I was eating little bits of baby food and stuff, and walking around starving. My yeah. Lonnie, you know, yeah. I'm sort of really hard. 
what's uh, your take on uh, you need eight hours sleep uh, as you are growing? Well, some uh, people, they talk, yeah. I, I need to sleep about four or five hours if, if that. So I'm one of them people where I don't need loads of sleep. Some people need to say six hours. Is enough. I would say six. Yeah. I would say six six yeah. hours on average. You do need to grow, and you do need the first hour of sleep. You, you're producing the best growth hormone. Yeah. Um, at, at the moment, I, I've lost like a stone in in two months because I'm only getting four hours sleep a night. Um, I'm literally, as I say, just made it the day because I was like I spent like 13 hours in the gym yesterday, not training, just literally helping out personal yeah. training coaching so yeah that's uh, you know and four hours is not enough sleep no uh i would say as you said there six hours six is eight hours yeah yes. but the thing is and all when you go to bed you, your growth hormone comes out that's yeah. when it works yeah when you sleep i like a nap during the day because and, and also you get a bit older yeah. um like me not like me <laughs> 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 you need to happen after you know you know all top bodybuilders don't you know yeah. to go to the yeah. gym he was dedicated he trained in a gym it was like a shit hole of the gym yeah. he could have been in America with yeah, all yeah, the big yeah. guys and the mate and all well that's why right. they, they called the him dungeon. the shadow didn't they because yeah, he just yeah. came out from nowhere I met him in um, yeah. Mr England with um, Bill Boyd alright yeah, yeah, there. yeah. he was guest posing there he was a lovely man um, very, very well spoken and uh, nice person <laughs> but he pushed himself to the limit didn't he to win them so, so, sorry can you just read that up? Paul Smith what's that sorry I don't mean to be rude but what is it? Are you black? Uh, yeah, you're uh, very tanned. You're very tanned. Yeah, uh, yeah I don't know about me, man. <laughs> <laughs> Next to Brian, yeah. I love yeah. It. No, yeah. I go. I've been going on the sunbed. Yeah, um, sunbed. yeah it's a sunbed. Yeah. I go on the sun. Believe it or not, I go on the sunbed three times a week. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I've answered that one. If you uh, get gear, <laughs> use both all round nut locks, leave priest yes on and off. Season looked like a marshmallow man. Yeah. There's off season, yeah. There's yeah. there's off season, and well, you do look like that. I think off, yeah. what was it? Jay Cutler still looks brilliant, but yeah. like there is a picture of him off season where he's yeah. just eating, and he looks absolutely massive. What they say? They say you're better not going over 10, 10 pound, 10, yeah. 10, 14 yeah. pound. Stay in that region, and then it's easy to die. Get some of them go over a couple yeah. of forty pound mm -hmm. over. You've only got to lose it again, and you've got to lose yeah. it, and it's really hard on the, the heart and the legs and the knees and everything. See some battle pockets that you blow right up, at you. it's huge, but it's trouble walking, you know. So, right, I think I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, that's about yeah. late today. Yeah, so, brilliant. thanks for the coming on the show, Lee, yeah. and everyone there, stay safe. Um, and the tip of the day, how whatever you want to do, get to the gym, start the day, not tomorrow, not next week, just yeah. Don't, uh, yeah, as you said there, right, don't wait for January, right? <laughs> yeah, start, believe it or not, because a lot of people get anxious as well about going into gyms. Gyms in January are absolutely packed. Yeah. If you're going to start, start now. Yeah. Start in November. I know it's difficult, November and December, but I'm only going on about 30 to 40 minutes a day. It'll get you used to going into a gym. Yeah. So instead of waiting for January, everyone's like, New Year's resolution, I'll do this, right? Start now. Yeah. There's no excuse. If you, need, uh, if you need any help. As, as help. I'll, I'll just need to yeah. plug this. As yeah. one gym says, right, results, not excuses. Yeah. And also, if you need any help, I'm on here. To ask me any questions, um, and I'll have Brian with any YouTube questions. channels on there. Yeah. Well, loads of about the diet and what to eat. And but we'll, we'll do another podcast, yes, we'll do another one, yeah, yeah. So, like, thanks everybody for watching, and God bless you all. And get to the gym, okay? That's what's finished. Yeah, we go, that, yeah. uh, come on, yes. good, that mate. Good. Good. Excellent.